Hi, I'm IKEA and for today's video I want to give a guide to how I deal with my inventory and uh, specifically uh, for vendor sorting and some of the settings that I use for my inventory. Uh, some can be quite useful to know, especially vendor sorting, but also some of the miscellaneous uh, tips can be handy for just knowing and uh, using to make it easier to go through your inventory. What this video isn't, isn't about what to keep or uh, what gear or weapons or such to keep as that is very player dependent. This is mostly about um, the how to's of the inventory itself, not so much about the gear and such that you keep. And uh, to first off show the vendor sorting, we'll jump to a vendor. And for that vendor, I'll use the Castle Settlement one, as um, this got added with this season, and actually not everyone has found it yet. Uh, I just wanted to show its location, so we are at the Castle Settlement. This is uh, where we pick up and end, uh, actually, as well, the manhunts with uh, that laptop over there and uh, Wally uh, over there. And actually right next to it is this uh, laptop that they've added as a vendor. And this is actually... a uh, fully new vendor it has its own unique inventory so it's actually yeah worth uh, knowing about so uh for vendor sorting itself uh, it is actually in uh, three steps i would say um first off is uh, the setup and that that is actually the, the only really um part that will uh, consume some time and uh, then uh, uh, there's maintenance and uh, lastly, there is actually using the vendor for sorting. So uh, to start off with uh, the setup is that um, everything in your inventory that is not favorited. So for in this case, actually, I've unfavorited uh, quite a few items uh, in my inventory, a few gloves, a few masks, uh, just to show it off here. Um, everything that you do... Um, that you have in your inventory and isn't favorited will show up in the inventories uh, um, tab here and of course everything in your stash that isn't favorited as well will show up in the stash uh, part as well so the way that we set that up the setup part is to have everything favorited and everything includes uh, well of course weapons uh, gear um, and um, then also uh, all of the mods uh, gear mods and skill mods so it takes um, some setup especially if you aren't using that system yet so for instance for me I have actually always been favoriting my stuff uh, since forever so mostly it has always been maintenance um, and uh, if you don't do it haven't done it and nothing in your inventory is favorited it, it's not too bad it, it uh, takes a little bit but uh, you can catch up basically so how would we go about that? There are two ways. Uh, I'll show the um, way without the vendor first is actually if you go into gear here, you can uh, you can um, go into options here and uh, show by fav sort by favorite and then all of the items that aren't favorite it will be at the bottom. The other actually somewhat easier option is to go into the um, vendor here uh, when you are clean, when you don't have any gear that uh, is... Uh, <laughs> basically not part of your loadouts and such, and go through this list and make sure that no, nothing is showing here, basically. But uh, even after that, there is uh, two more parts to the setup part. Um, so here, actually, so I have a bunch of stuff here that um, I do want to keep, as <laughs> some of it is valuable, of course. Um, but And so the way that I do that here is actually here we have the mark as option as well, which is uh, the same as in your inventory. So for me, it's uh, R. I do not know what the button prices are on consoles, but well, it'll show it there. So yeah, Marcus favorite, go through this list, basically, make sure that nothing is showing here, um, that you are, that is part of your loadout. So for instance, here, I'm basically, I've loaded in fresh, I've only stashed a few loadouts away, and uh, all of the things that are in my inventory are either loadouts or stuff that I want to keep as exotics uh, and such. Um, one thing as well, if you accidentally uh, sell an item, so for instance, if I sell my uh, Eclipse Glove here, um, you can actually go into buyback and uh, buy it back as it was. If you do it at the cabinets at the safe houses, they don't have this tab, but all of the vendors share this tab together. So if you sell it to them, you can go to the White House vendor or 
any of the other uh, real vendors that actually sell stuff as well and you can buy it back so i'm going to i am going to do that and uh, and then now be sure to um, actually favor it. Uh, what that does do actually is remove it from the loadout as it is uh, in the back end. It is actually technically a different uh, item at that point. So you will actually need to re-equip it in loadouts uh, as I can actually quickly show as it was part of here. I do have the item still. It's just uh, technically it's a different item. So... You, I would need to resave it with this loadout if that ever happens to you. Just if you have had that ever happen to you and you were wondering why, is usually with the buyback uh, that that happens. Now, um, uh, what you want to do as well is have all of your mods. So that in that menu, everything that you have in your inventory of uh, of weapons and gear will show up, and also in the stash one, you could you would do the same. Uh, everything you want to keep needs to be favorited. As you are likely using this method, you are likely to accidentally sell it. Otherwise, if you want to keep it, it needs to be favorited. That is the basis of the setup of this way of um, of sorting on going through items. So what we want to do as well is if you actually, so we want to actually also um, favorite all uh, mods as well, because yeah, I do not want to use my, lose my 13 uh, PFEs ever as uh, yeah, they, they are quite rare. Um, so what we do here is actually go into an item, go into the gear slot, and uh, in this selection menu where you select the mod, this is all of the mods that are currently equipped in all of your gear that you currently have on you, and also in that mod pouch, basically the 100 mod pouch where you have loose mods uh, hanging around. And what you want to go uh, through as well is to go through this whole list and <laughs> favorite everything in here as well, uh, just so that if you accidentally, for instance, if I needed to put a different mod in here this mod would go back into my mod pouch if it wasn't favored to that at that point because it was in gear it would not it would before that it would not show up in that menu so gears within uh or uh, mods within gear that aren't favorited will not show up in that menu but once it becomes a loose item it will show up in that menu and has a chance of accidentally being sold so you want to go through this whole list and uh, favorite everything uh, and that may take some while also use that time to clean it up as well <laughs> usually is a good time because what you can do as well from here is actually instead of uh if you instead of mark it as favorite you can mark it as junk here as you uh, see here at the bottom so i if i saw some mods that i were like why am i keeping this around then i could change that but yeah go through here <clears throat> mark everything that you want to keep as favorite and then also in skill mods, you want to go through every skill and uh, go through into their mod slots and favorite every skill uh, mod that you want to keep. Also use this time as well to clean it up as well. So just go through this list and go and keep for me, for instance, I keep only the highest mod, of course, and I also discard some of the mods that I definitely know that I will uh, never use as some are quite useless. So you go through that list you uh, favorite everything all of the mods here as well because yeah if for instance if i didn't have my burn strength here uh modded and i swapped to a healing build and this healing mod would go into the scam launcher because it is part of that loadout then this one isn't favorited and could be sold so yeah i just want to ram that home favorite everything and uh, that is actually just recommend it also just for not losing your stuff is to have everything always favorited so you don't deconstruct it by accident as well. So that part is <clears throat> beneficial in several ways. And um, what that then lets us do is, so once everything has been favorited, this cell menu will become everything that is new to us. So everything that I pick up as junk, everything that I get from mission completions, um, uh, activity completions, uh, bounty completions, anything like that, um, popping caches, everything that comes into my inventory and wasn't basically part before it is not going to be favorited and so will not show up here. So or if you already see some items that you want to keep, you favorite them just along the way, they will not show up in here. And... Um, that is the maintenance part. So everything new that we get, if I've got new parts that I want to keep, if I got another 13 BFE, for instance, and I want to keep it, I would instantly uh, like 
just go into here and just favorite it and just keep it with these other mods. So that is the that is the maintenance. Uh, it is that is the setup and maintenance part. So you set it up by going through for one time. It takes like 10, 15 minutes if you haven't done any of it. Um, yeah, if you have never favored anything. Um, and well, also you would need to do your stash as well to be safe as well. Uh, so everything favorite, favorite, all the things. <laughs> uh, and uh, once you have done that, it becomes maintenance. And for instance, for me, I've been doing this. I've been using favorited, favoriting already, always, even before Warlords. So once I started in Warlords, I just, it, it was always maintenance basically for me. But yeah, once you've set it up, it doesn't take that long. And then the maintenance just becomes second nature after a while. And what that lets us do is what I will show in a minute, actually, is let us vendor sort. And the vendor sorting is really handy as, yeah, it is a lot faster than any other method that I know. And if you do know a better method, uh, share with us in the comments below. I am now going to actually uh, go get a ton of loot. I'm going to go do uh, a countdown run. And um, once I have some loot, I'll get back to a vendor and we'll uh, do this, the last part of actually doing vendor sorting. And uh, here I've uh, done a countdown run and um, I've returned with uh, quite uh, a little bit uh, of loot that's all uh, looted as junk. It doesn't specifically need to be looted as junk, you can also just uh, normal loot as both, uh, as long as they basically aren't favorite it will drop in this list. One thing I want to show as well is that all of these um, cabinets, these vendor cabinets, or, or as they're called by the game, salvage um, cabinets, uh, you can use these as sell vendors as well. They do not, um, they do not uh, sell anything themselves, so you can't buy anything from them, but you can actually sell from them. So, uh, and these are in each and every safe house. So each and every safe house uh, within the game has actually uh, that vendor icon on the map as well, um, where you can find this cabinet with and uh, just sell to it. So that's why also this is this valuable because yeah, you can use it quite a lot of places. You don't have to specifically go to White House or something like that. You can also just uh, go here. Um, Basically, when you've done a mission or anything, it will spit you out at a safe house, likely anyway. Um, so, yeah. And uh, so here we see, uh, this is all of the items that I've received uh, during this um, challenging countdown run. And um, going through it, everything that uh, I've picked up, I've, I always loot as junk, as uh, that makes it easier for me to uh, see what everything is. Um, and... Um, going through it so i am actually only really interested in so it depends on what you um are actually interested in um you can go item by item you can quite easily also see from just uh this uh, right side especially for instance with these weapons you can see that some of them do have a top stat so they will have that uh, orange uh, orange highlighted stat over there and usually for most items if they don't have one top stat already um, they aren't really worth uh, checking for me. After a while as well, you will have a decent insight into what um, all of the icons are for talents. So, so some talents I don't care about at all, especially on uh, gear and such is important like that. Um, but what you can always do is uh, actually look at the stats real quickly so what i usually do is have this a little bit scrolled down so that uh, when i scroll through stuff it shows me just the top of the stat and uh, just the item itself and uh, as you can see here this is all of the items uh, that we've looted so this is a, uh, even within the inventory weapons and gear are segregated uh, so are mods so you cannot easily see everything that you've looted where here everything um, so everything that wasn't in my inventory before basically is now showing up in this list. So that's in this case, everything that we've, uh, looted and, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, ba I basically go through it. If I was interested in some top set sale for my library or such, I would keep an eye out for those, but for the rest, I just quickly, um, for me at this point, it's just a quick glance. So for instance, this Baker Dozen, if I was actually interested in having another Baker Dozen, yeah, this would be a keeper, uh, if, if I was a newer player, for instance. And, um, 
sometimes the only thing that uh, to check for is especially for instance stats so um, golden pieces with skill haste um, skill haste slash skill damage and then another stat of status effect um, that's quite worthwhile but for instance for me actually here today I am going to add a few a red uh, red future initiative build to uh, this account so I'm actually quite interested in uh, um, pieces with crit hit damage and um, so I can re-roll the core so actually this piece uh, will be kept so what I do here is actually just uh, mark mark as favorite and uh, that piece is now kept um, and that is basically how I sort go through sort my inventory and this is a lot faster than going per <laughs> per slot basically or uh, and also you will not miss anything so uh, in this case i have looted everything as junk um any items that would only not come in as junk would be uh pieces that i have gotten um uh that i've um, gotten from for instance activity rewards or something like that or from uh, caches uh, popping caches uh, those items would come in um without um being marked as junk because i didn't get a chance to loot them as junk from the ground and then, yeah you saw me mark some items in the background as uh, keepers and the rest i'm just going to go through real quick and sometimes uh, you find still find stuff that is worthwhile and so now i've basically sorted all of my drops um the only thing that i kept uh, is a mask of a future initiative that I favored it. So this one gets added in. So as it's favorited here, it will not get deconstructed or anything. And the rest, all of my, the rest of my inventory is actually marked as junk. For instance, as well, I want to show. So if if I had, for instance, let's say these three top items were from activity rewards, and they would come in as uh, normal items into my inventory, so they wouldn't have been marked as junk. Uh, what I will do here is actually mark them as junk because I want to get rid of them. So at that point, I will um, have everything in this list marked as junk. So as I go through here as well, so if some stuff wasn't marked as junk as I went through here, I would actually take the time here to just, it's one button press uh, to mark as junk. For me in this instance, it's V. I believe that is that is the, the general button for it, but I've rebound a lot of buttons, so I'm not certain. Um, yeah, so everything's marked as junk there. So now um, becomes a choice of um, do I, yeah, uh, some people uh, like to sell uh, all of the junks. I uh, actually deconstruct all of my stuff because uh, resources. And <laughs> so I'm now deconstructed everything. And the only things that I've kept are uh, those uh, few future initiative parts. And that is vendor sorting. And actually, that concludes our. <laughs> part on that so from here on i will actually go into uh, some general tips uh, for inventory and such and um, those pieces will actually come up again in that so to move on to some uh, miscellaneous uh, items is so for instance now i've gotten those items um, the way that i've sort my inventory makes it actually really easy for me to find items and not everybody does it this way because the general sorting i believe is still uh, by uh, by level and that means that you basically uh, the item name takes priority what i would recommend everybody <laughs> does uh, first off is to you have a different option for your weapons and your different options for your gear so uh, you have to set it in each category basically but especially for for in the gear uh, parts um if you go in here and uh, you have this options menu this options menu brings up uh, this part one actually thing that i want to note here as well that uh, a lot of people don't know is mark all uh, mark all as junk so this this will actually even if i didn't actually mark everything in junk in the vendor um which uh this would actually be the better option actually is to, uh, to actually leave everything and then come in here and mark uh, all as junk so what mark all as junk does is everything that isn't favorited or marked for recalibration or um the other one uh, marked for optimization i think is the other one um anything that isn't marked as something already every normal item will be then marked as junk so everything becomes junk and then you can quickly uh, donate it to the 
uh, optimization uh, gods uh, at the recalibration station or to uh, deconstruct it, for instance, if you are uh, the, using it, if you're buying items, for instance, for weaves and alloys or something with a watch alt, you can just buy a ton and then instead of going through and marking each one, you just mark all as junk. And the other options that are here as well is actually for what I use is the grid view. So most normal, <laughs> most of the times, um, so it starts as this list view. So this is what uh, most people are used to seeing. Um, this does give a little bit more information on the stats and such, as especially it gives the the, the core role here already. Uh, it shows it there as a number and uh, especially on... Um, uh, gear on uh, items, uh, chest and such, it is actually kind of handy to easily see what you're equipping. But I would actually recommend if you are willing to try it, to at least try the grid view if you aren't already using it. As a grid view condenses everything a little bit, you, you see basically twice as many items <laughs> on every part. And um, yeah, it's it, it is a lot more condensed, uh, but that yeah, for me, that is actually an important thing as I can see more and just not have to scroll as much as, as you may have seen in most of my characters, I have a, a ton of loadouts and that means that I have a ton of items in my inventory. Um, so yeah, that grid view, I would recommend you trying out and especially, so what I do is a sort of, in the sort by, you can, um, there are a lot of different ways actually that people use this as especially recent can be handy as then also new items are at the top. So that's how some people sort. But yeah, as you as I've shown you in this here that yeah, I, I prefer vendor sorting by quite a lot. Um, sorting by favorite also everything that isn't favorite uh, gets uh, um, shown at a different spot. Same for loadout as well than all of your if you're um, don't have any items that aren't part of any loadouts that you don't want to keep. So for instance, I also have some items that I use to variant builds really quickly. For instance, um, a striker chest. I usually have a, a striker chest or another piece to go from a variant of striker without chest to with chest and stuff like that. So this wouldn't work for me either. But what I really... Um, the way that I like to have it is with brand, as I have it selected here. And what that does is put everything of uh, of the same brand together. Uh, together, And um, especially if I go to my stash here real quick. So that means that every piece of providence, um, even if it is the sacrifice. So what would happen in if you're using most of the other ones is that uh, it goes by name as well. So... Uh, something like a counterforce where the vest would be somewhere different than the sacrifice. And I enjoy, I mostly care about the brands, actually. I don't care about the item name at all. So this way, I know all of my presence chests are here together. All of uh, all of my y'all pieces are here together. All of my uh, Seska pieces are all together. The only thing that you do need to know is that uh, specifically Seska is at the bottom of the list. And that is because technically they are using this... Uh, I'm going, uh, I'm going to say Cyrillic letter, I'm going to guess. I don't actually know, but I'm, I'm going to assume it's a Cyrillic letter. Um, there, that uh, is, by the sorting of the game, is going to end up at the end of the list. <laughs> so uh, it isn't uh, a normal C. So that, that Seska does get put at the end uh, of everything always. But yeah, this way all my groupers are together, all my Fenrises are together. And even if they are uh, different item names, they they are together. So for instance, uh, here again with Provenance, a normal um, the Provenance backpack that I actually do not have. They're all the gifts. But um, yeah, if I had a normal Provenance backpack here as well, they would be all bunched up together. That's the way that I think about gear anyway already. So that helps me quite a lot. Uh, I do the same actually with weapons as well, and there I sort by uh, weapon type, uh, if I go in here. Um, I uh, sort by weapon type, and that puts every uh, shotgun together, that puts every AR together, and uh, stuff like that, so that it, when I go into my stash, um, the weapon that is equipped currently will be at the top. So I have a shotgun equipped currently, and that means that all of the shotguns go to the top of the stash list. Um, but especially, so what I care about is 
when I want to grab an AR, I do not care what the name of it is or what the, the what when I got it or anything like that. I mostly care that it's an AR. So I'll have I have all of my ARs all together so that I can just go, okay, um, let's grab a G36, let's grab uh, uh, a TKB and uh, quite easily grab a weapon and just have it. As uh, yeah, if, otherwise it is a it may seem like a jumbled mess, and especially here the grid view is really nice as you quickly can see <laughs> what weapon uh, what weapons are here, and um, on the right side you can always just quickly check um, what the stats of it are. Uh, as that is also one of the things is that uh, quite uh, normally, so when you open the inventory, it is uh, usually like this. You can actually, so this item detail, this G button that I have uh, here at the bottom, I basically automatically press that. That is just habit for me. And that brings up the stats of the item so that you can quick, qu uh, quite quickly see uh, what item is, uh, is here and then just have the stats for it. Um, as mostly you usually care about the stats. Now to show as well is uh, so I got a few uh, future initiative parts. So if I wanted to find them again, actually in this in this uh, this button actually as well. If you didn't know, this is all of the gear combined. So for weapons, all of them were already combined anyway, uh, with the exception of the sidearm. So the, all of the weapon types and stuff are all combined were combined anyway. But uh, they added this gear button ages ago. Um, and uh, so here I can actually go real quick and see that, yeah, I got some future initiative parts. So I have a holster and a, uh, and a mask now as well. And that would let me uh, quite easily move these two parts to my stash where I want to keep them till I recalibrate them and uh, start make, putting that build together. Um, one thing, other thing that I want to show as well is, um, actually, yeah, so... Uh, one of the uses as well for um, especially the loadout screen. So as you can see here, uh, I have actually stored away some of my loadouts and that is uh, just to open up space because uh, if uh, this character had all of their loadouts in their inventory, uh, she would have around 130 or something, I believe, uh, inventory slots used. So that only leaves me 20 spots to... <laughs> uh, you know, loot with, which uh, I'm fine with for missions and open world and stuff because I actually check out loot on the ground as well as you have seen me likely doing gameplay, which uh, infuriates some people. But I usually don't have uh, the inventory space to um, easily loot everything as junk and then sort it later. I just usually just sort it on the ground and uh, deal with it that way because most of my characters have at least 120 items already in their inventory just from the loadouts. Now with this other account where I have uh, some space in my stash, what I can do actually as well, and that uh, I want to show here as well, is as you can see, a lot of my loadouts uh, there were in the stash already. So uh, I've kept a few on, on her and the rest are all uh, stashed up. And one way that you can do this as well is actually if you, uh, for instance, if I uh, wanted to stash away this uh, loadout as well, is actually if I go into uh, the options <laughs> here, to look for so yeah, that is the, the F button uh, on PC. Um, this is the options for the loadout, so you, the, where you change the item, and rename, but here you also have a send to, to stash. And uh, what you can use send to stash for, it will send all of the items of that that aren't equipped currently, it will send them all to the stash uh, of that loadout. And that is an easy way to store a few loadouts, uh, for instance, that I've done in this case, just to open up some space for me to go into countdown and actually, um, especially for countdown, I do prefer having, not having to loot on the ground, just looting everything um, uh, up. Uh, and then sorting it later because there it does matter it is time sensitive in the same way i would never actually loot in leagues i just deconstruct everything and if it was something good then too bad so here i'm going to send it to the stash and uh, as you can see uh, it took a second but uh, and sometimes you also have to scroll up and scroll back down for it to actually update and so everything of that went into the stash 
but um, for instance here so i'm actually using the scorpio in this build but if i actually for instance equip uh, this famous real quick and just um do it again and uh, go into that uh, same loadout and uh, stash it again so what it will do is actually um, send this scorpio uh, to this uh, to the stash as well and but for instance for me i use the scorpio on uh, several builds for instance especially this pfe build so if i were to try to load this outside of the safe house and outside of the range of a stash basically i would get an error message that I basically have to go to stash and that can be very annoying because you can't just uh, load it without just that one part and then just have it loaded. It just pops up an error message. So what you want to do is stash away a few of the loadouts. So what I've done here and what I uh, then usually do, especially with the amount of loadouts that I have, is go through the, the other loadouts that um, I do want to keep and actually uh, quickly equip them. And as you already saw for, actually I should have, <laughs> I should have uh, discussed uh, that pop up for a second more. So I'm going to just uh, put the Scorpio away for a second. If I go back into this loadout now and actually try to load this, uh, this PFE, um, it says here, some of the item loadouts are stashed. Do you want to uh, transfer these stash items and equip them as well? So if you, when you are in range of a stash, you can actually retrieve your items just by loading the loadouts. So that is the easy way of getting your loadouts back into, into your um, slots, as especially um, mods and such will <laughs> make it sometimes annoying to try to load this out in the open world. So this takes some time. You stash a few loadouts and then you basically have to come through here and just uh, equip the other ones one by one uh, to make sure that the ones that you do want to keep in your inventory um, are actually have all the parts in your in your inventory. Because, for instance, if I had a hive and um, some of the mods or something were stashed away uh, because uh, they went away with some of the some of the loadouts that I have stashed, then yeah, I could not load uh, this properly. Um, so yeah, you just have to go through again. And uh, and um, if you want to get them all back in your inventory, you just uh, go through all of your loadouts and just equip them again. So for instance, if I wanted to have this negotiator loadout uh, that is saved here, and yes, it is a little bit weird if you uh, pay attention to those kinds of things, but it is for specific reasons. And if you're smart, you can actually figure that why it is saved with five loadout pieces, uh, five negotiator pieces. But yeah. So if I'm at, uh, but I can only do this at the safe houses at, at basically in, in range of a stash so in safe houses at the white house and uh, Haven and stuff like that. And then, yeah, we load it back in and uh, we have all of the parts uh, equipped of that loadout. Again, it just pulls them from the stash real quick. And yeah, that is a handy trick to have uh, to make better use of the vendor sorting method. And yeah, that actually uh, somewhat concludes this video. I uh, feel that um, I've uh, given you a well in-depth enough guide to vendor sorting, especially as uh, I would recommend using that as alongside even just having the vendor be able to be used for sorting, just having everything favorited is a recommendation on its own. Just uh, if I uh, could basically sum this video up in uh, one meme, it's, it's, it's that uh, yelling cartoon of uh, uh, blah, blah, everything. This is literally favorite everything. And just <laughs> that is the, that is the essence of this. But yeah, that gets you access to vendor sorting and vendor sorting is to me i do not know a better way of dealing with uh, loot coming in so but if you do actually yeah do uh, share with us um and yeah i uh, hope uh, you enjoyed this video for my next one we are reaching uh, an uh, ominous date of course and uh, i'm going to um, actually uh, delay uh, the other video that um, I've said that I would do uh, pretty soon with um, um, the words that I uh, quite uh, dislike. And um, uh, instead, I will actually do a build showcase for uh, for that ominous date, but it will be a fun one. And <laughs> I um, hope uh, you join me for that one as alongside that one, I will also 
probably do a, a joke video that uh, will uh, poke fun at uh, some of the content creators of the Division community. And uh, all in good spirits, hopefully. Uh, and uh, it, uh, I hope... Uh, I'm having fun making that one, so I uh, hope you will have fun uh, joining me for that one. But yeah, uh, see you for those. Have a good night.